We are joined now on the phone by former Penn State running back DJ Dozier. And DJ, you heard everything. What's your reaction? Well, it's it's a tough situation. Um, a lot of variables here. And, um, you know, I, the one comment about Mike McQuarrie and his um, absence or or him being there on the field, I, I, I'm not sure, you know, how to, to look at that. But I, I would say, you know, it's the Pennsylvania folks are, are, are good people. Um, I, I, at the end of the day, I don't I don't think that he would be in harm's way, or you know, it, it, there could be some heckling because you know that's uh, that's part of human nature. There's going to be people that are going to be on one side and people that are on the other. But I think uh, overall, the the uh, he as a coach will get more support. Um, you know, obviously there's speculation in terms of what he should have done, what he could have done. You know, I, I've always tried to view my um, thoughts from facts, and um, I'm not sure what the facts are yet. Uh, we can, you know, we, we've heard some things, and there's a report out, so we can read through that. But, um, you know, I think it's just tough to, to make any conclusion without having all the facts uh, in front of you. Uh, DJ, uh, once the board decided that they wanted Joe out, uh it would seem to me that he had been there long enough perhaps to have an opportunity to resign as long as he would agree with that. Your feeling on, on the facts that we don't think Joe had an opportunity to resign but was fired, your, your feelings about him not having that opportunity? Well, again, you know, there's going to be folks that, uh, you know, it's like a debate. Uh, there are going to be folks that are for and folks that are against. Uh, I, for one, of course, uh, as a former player, um, and 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 knowing Coach Paterno from that perspective, um, my I have a bias. Um, I think that the man should have been given a chance. Now, I know that there that a lot of folks out there are saying, "Well, you know, this is not about coaching. It's not about football. This is about what happened in that locker room and 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 beyond." Uh, from the, the, you know, potential allegations here uh, and what happened to the kids. Uh, without a doubt, that's vitally important and most important in this situation. Um, but to, to date, as Matt Billen said, um, you know, we, we're still in America. Due process should take place. And, you know, the courts have not, uh, I don't think, I mean, someone tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the courts have made a decision. So why is anyone else making a decision and not allowing this this individual, uh, Coach Paterno, to fulfill his contract and coach another two or three games. I, I, it's a tough situation. I, I think that uh, you know, obviously, if I were in, if I were the guy making the decision, uh, you know, the decision would be uh, what the decision would be. But um, you know, it, it, it's tough. Um, I, I think at the end of the day, uh, I go back to what Matt Millen said a couple of days ago. Um, you know, let's let due process take place. And I don't think that that's obviously happened. But, DJ, I mean, the sense last night, anyway, in listening to the Board of Trustees was this wasn't so much about what you're discussing as it was about moving the university forward, what was in the best interest of the school, trying to minimize the damage here. You love Penn State. It's obvious from listening to you. Do you feel like a move like this, while you may not agree with it from the perspective that you're talking about, does it allow Penn State to move forward and to remove those distractions? <laughs> well, if if we look at history and everything Joe's done, of course you got you have an opinion there. Everyone has an opinion there, and, and the facts are in place for that opinion. If you look at the situation today, um, I don't think situation this decision is based on facts that's that's what i look at and it, it's based on what we speculate what could or what could not happen uh, because of the situation or the circumstances uh, uh pushing a gentleman out that way uh, after everything he's done that's factual and then make it a, a decision on ousting him based on something that's not factual yet maybe not ever, I think is um, just a bit premature. That's my thought. DJ, uh, this is Glenn Mason. Um, uh, obviously, you've got a relationship with Joe Paterno. Uh, most of us in coaching have a relationship, and 
just to touch on a, a subject again, you know, every time that I've ever been around uh, Coach Paterno and he'd talk about Penn State, he'd always talk about Penn State is different. There's a loyalty there. There's a class there uh, that uh, really very few universities uh, have. And, and I would tend to agree with him being around that program. In saying that, for a guy that spent 60 plus years and devoted his life um, to Penn State, um, tell us about how you feel about him being dismissed over the telephone. <laughs> well, you know, I think we all that understand the profession and understand the the importance of relationships can look at that situation and you know wherever there's peculiar behavior there's a reason why we may not know the reason why it happened that way uh, but there's no doubt that after 61 years after all that he has done and hopes to do uh, for this university all the, the the players the people countless individuals that we may never hear of, hear about uh, that he has helped inspire and 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 stand up for. Um, it's um, it's it's a tough you know it, I think it's the wrong it's the wrong approach. It, 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 it's tough for me to even comment. I'm I'm trying to hold my composure here and my emotion. Um, but I know that if it were me, that I would feel as bad as probably Coach feels. A DJ Dozier, former Penn State running back, very much appreciate your time over the last couple of days. You've been very generous with it. Thanks for your insights.